Hi, I'm Chris from Magnum Venus Products. Uh, we're here today to do startup and shutdown of a Innovator 2 injection machine. We're gonna run through how, on how to start it up first. We're gonna go check and make sure we have material, uh, catalyst, our hose is in a safe position, our oil cup is halfway full, our ratio is set to where we want it. Come back to the back, we'll hook our air up, We'll turn our valve on to our box. We'll set our air pressure to about 10 pounds and then there's a button in the back to manually start the prime cycle. So we'll prime it. Let it run until the pump pressure stops and the lines are full. We come around and set our count. To, on this one for test, we're gonna do 20 strokes. This will pump till it goes to 20 and then it'll shut the machine down. So first we'll set our pump pressure, our mold pressure guard pressure at 20 to start. And then we can uh, proceed with recirculation. And what this is gonna do, we're gonna run this for 20 strokes to get all the air out of the system. So on the recirc, we have a hose here that comes out, clear poly tube here. You're gonna see the material flow through. You wanna make sure, look, make sure there's no bubbles. Same with the catalyst. You have a clear sight tube here for material running in, and you'll see a steady flow after all the bubbles and the airs out of it. Then after you do that, you'll hit the stop. You'll put your injection hose into your part. You set your MPG to the part, then you're ready to inject. So we'll simulate that. Inject mode. Every stroke is counting and it'll be on a ratio for whatever percentage you set it at. And when it gets to 20, it'll automatically stop the injection cycle. After it reaches 20 and it stops, it's gonna go to a timer. It's gonna start counting down to let you know to flush the machine once the injection cycle is done. You can set this to whatever time you want it to be. So there's your alarm to let you know to flush this thing out. If you don't, from here down, material is mixed in this, there's a mix housing in here. If it's mixed here, it will dry solid in there. You'll have big problems. When you hear the alarm or before the alarm, you can go over here and hit the flush button. You always wanna hit after the inject cycle, you wanna hit stop and then hit flush. I'm gonna pull this out to let you guys see it. There's the flush button. You get a 80 cc burst of solvent and then like a 60 second purge of air behind it. And it's just blowing it and drying that, the acetone or the solvent, whatever you have in it out real good so it doesn't contaminate the next part. You wait another minute for the acetone tank or the solvent tank to fill back up the pump and then you cycle it again. If you're done with this part, you can hit recirculate and let it run. The shutdown procedure is basically turn your, uh, you wanna hit your stop, turn all your pump pressures back down and basically unhook your air after that. And that's it.